figured I'm already going, I might as well keep going. I have some thoughts. One video topic I've wanted to make for a while has to do with morning routines and also evening routines. A big focus I want to make with this channel is on you know, self-development, just improving the quality of your life, um, getting closer to living the life you want. I've been in a bit of a slump lately. I've been in slumps before and um, I know the surest way to get out of slumps is to reestablish my routine. Um, and it's interesting. Another video I want to make is on the pendulum like nature of progress or the roller coaster like nature of it. And when I say slump, my slumps now are, are you know, far of a far greater quality than they were two years ago, three years ago. Um, you know, we consistently improve ourselves. We might dip back down a little bit, ride those valleys, come back up, um, and have learned something for the better. I know I definitely have. I know how to stay more consistent. And I also see the good in those slumps. You know, I was balancing out part of my life that I maybe wasn't fulfilling when I'm at my highs in productivity or at my highs in, um, quote, personal development. You know, some of my low, I had more social fulfillment. Um, some of my low, I had more relaxation and ease. So how can I bring that social fulfillment, that relaxation, that ease up with um, also better pursuing my ambitions and living a more fulfilling life? So those are some of the things I'm thinking of. But that was, that was a bit of, of a sidetrack there. However, I want to run you through my typical morning routine and not so typical as of late. Um, as of late, this morning routine has been rushed and it hasn't been as high quality. So I guess I'll term this more my ideal morning routine. And my ideal morning routine has me waking up preferably early. I love waking up at 5 a.m. if I've had enough rest. First thing I'll do is I'll make my bed. And that's been a constant. There's pretty much been no day in the last two plus years I haven't made my bed. Perfect way to start the day. So make my bed. Next, I love to meditate. So ideally I get at least 10 minutes. I'd love to start doing 20 plus minutes, but generally with class at 8 a.m., don't always get that in. After meditating, I like to do gratitude. How I do that is through the five minute journal. Write three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, and a daily mantra. Maybe it's I am confident, I am kind, or I am seeing the good. So uh, yeah, those are some typical ones for me, but I, I really try to make it unique each day. After that, I generally go into my workout so that's typically a run. Uh, this past winter, I was lifting some weights. I'd like to get back into that, get these skinny shoulders a little bigger. <laughs> um, so I go work out, usually a run. Um, I've been trying to do my injury prevention stuff before that. After I get back from my run, it's generally a time, um, if I have time, if I've waken up early enough, I'll stretch. And after that, I get into the shower, quick shower, ideally a cold shower. That just that boosts everything. And from there, I go into generally, lately it's just making breakfast, getting going. Um, if I have time, I love journaling. So I'll usually put my journaling then, or I'll journal before I, before I go run. Um, it's usually one or the other. So journaling is an excellent habit. Hopefully make a video about that in the near future. But yeah, I shower, get ready, um, and then I won't have breakfast until, until after that. And even with that, I'm usually rushing to school and uh, there about a minute before class starts. It's only about two or three minutes away. But yeah, so morning routine is clutch for a productive day. I've noticed the quality of my day today is so much better just from waking up at 5.30 getting my morning routine in, staying away from mindless distractions, i.e. social media. Um, yeah, 
But the routine I think is more important than the morning routine is actually your evening routine. Um, it gets me in the right mind state before bed. So I'll quickly run through that. This video is already five minutes long. My evening routine looks like, you know, I'll just go show you what my board looks like. Keep it on my board so I know. The video actually stopped recording, but that's perfectly fine. Recording it on my phone is a lot easier. So my nighttime routine looks like this. I use a lot of weird abbreviations here. Basically, I like to tidy my environment. I like to check my to-do list, um, add some things to it if necessary, um, look at my calendar for the next day. After that, I write my big three objectives for the next day. So for today, that looked like this. After that, I make sure I have all my electronics plugged in. It's the worst if you run out of battery halfway through the day. Brush my teeth, clean up, lay out my clothes, do some foam rolling or stretching, hopefully get in some meditation. Now, I'm not always consistent with these things, so these guys could use some improvement. If I get a second meditation for the day, that's really good. Even if it's just for two minutes, I enjoy that. Afterwards, if I haven't journaled in the morning, I try to just write some of my thoughts out on paper before I go to sleep. And then whether or not I do that, I always read. So that's kind of my ideal nighttime routine. Nothing too rigid, but if I can hit that, that overall template, everything's a lot better, especially if I'm hitting both. So. There it is, folks. Nighttime routine.